All right, we're doing fried chicken today. It's real simple. Right here I've got uh, five uh, boneless thighs. That's just my preference. You can do whatever you want. Breasts, wings, legs, whatever, bone in, bone out. I don't give a crap what you do. It's all about the batter on this stuff here. You want a good, crispy fried chicken, this is the way to go. It's really simple, okay? I've got two cups of flour, okay? I've got one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, okay? We'll just knock that in there. And then the secret here is this baby. This is slap your mama seasoning. I got a tablespoon of it, okay? I know this isn't in stores everywhere, but you can get online and order it. It's just paprika and cayenne and a little bit of different salts in there. Some more peppers and just various things that I'm sure they don't want you to know, but it's all right there on the ingredients. Anyway, I'm going to mix that up here in just a second. I've got one egg. We're going to crack that in there. I've got the same amount of milk that that egg would take up. And we'll beat that here in a second. This is a two-stage process. Now I'm going to whip up the uh, flour, I'm going to whip up the egg, and then we'll go from there. There we go. Now we got everything whipped up. Now if you need to do a lot more chicken, no problem. Just double this recipe, you know, and uh, so on and so forth. No big deal. Um, normally I would take this chicken and I would be dipping this flour in a, in a bag and shaking the hell out of it. But just for the purposes of the video, I want you to see what we're doing here. All we do is coat first with the flour, okay? And we'll do that to every one of these before we egg wash it and then flour again, okay? No big deal. We'll get that going and we'll go to the next step. Okay, that's what you want right there. No big deal. Now we're going to take each one over to the egg wash and gently coat each one. Drip, drip, dry. And then back in to the flour. Fully coat it. This is where you're going to get that extra crispy effect from you know who. Now, I'm not saying it tastes like that. That's not what I'm going for. All I'm saying is this is a good fried chicken recipe. All right? And that's all you got to do. And then you want each one of these to set for about five minutes before you fry them so it sets in and you're not just dropping and losing all that, that uh, flour that you're putting on there. Okay? So easy as this. Brought in the egg wash, coat it, drip dry, back in the flour, tossy turny, no big deal. All right? All right. And I'll do that to every one of these. Okay, so there we have it. They're all firmly, solidly coated. Okay, just a few minutes there. Let it set in over here on the stove. Very important, peanut oil, okay? You can use whatever oil you want, but if you want it to taste as good as I'm making it now today, use peanut oil. Trust me, it helps the flavor out tremendously. You won't get that sick feeling if from grease sitting in your stomach. I, I don't know why, but for me, at least it makes the difference, all right? So... Peanut oil, 350 degrees. Next step is the frying. Okay, here we go. I got about three quarters of an inch worth of oil in that pan, okay? And be careful with that heat. You can start a fire if you're not careful. If you leave it unintended and whatnot. Anyway, this isn't a safety video. This is a how to cook fried chicken video. It won't take very long in here four or five minutes. I go for color and I do flip them and I just go from what I what I see and, and what I like. I mean everybody knows what fried chicken is supposed to look like, you know. Uh, pull a piece out, we'll split it open, take a look at the inside and make sure it's fully cooked, no big deal. 350 will get it there in this oil, I promise. Okay, let's go ahead and give her a flip. You can see that color's coming along nicely. Oh yeah. That's what you want right there. Got a little floaty. Alright. Let's 
another minute or so here. We're going to be good to go. All right, let's get in there close up. It looks done to me. We're going to go ahead and pull it. Now, keep in mind, as hot as this oil is frying all over this chicken, it still cooks when you pull it out. So it's not bad to pull it out what you would think is a little bit prematurely because it's still cooking. Get a few of those out here like that. Yeah, they look good, don't they? We'll go in for a close-up here in a second. In the meantime, I want to get a couple more going. And then we'll check out the two that I just fried. Right in there like that. One more. There we go. Nice and easy. No big deal. Make sure you don't crowd it either. Don't put too many pieces in there. You're going to kill the, the heat of your, your oil and, and the way this cooks. You want it real nice, crisp outside and uh, real moist inside. Oh, yeah. This sucker's hot. Let's do the fork. You can see right there how good that stuff is. I've never tried food on camera before. I'm going to do it. Mmm. Damn. That's how we roll. All right. Good stuff. There you have it, everybody. Fried chicken. Poor man's gourmet kitchen.